I watched videos where this guy said a lot of stupid things about me. I just you think didn't that tell me you don't like me. You know what? People I think you, you were not actually okay. obsessed and you were confused about my beauty because you're actually stupid what? on that show. Because I don't understand again. how you saw people take a look at you, take a look at your hair, you look like a madman. Do you understand? Where was the energy? Beatrice, where was this energy in the house? Who would have made do with this energy in the house? It would have been nice. <laughs> I don't mind me guys today was hot like a bus bus was just flying up and down and i was like boma that came to this uh, reunion with the intention to make peace you guys have taken him back to the trenches <laughs> it's no more peace making boma went all out beatrice went all out i didn't know beatrice has bad mouth like this so hey jesus christ we're going to get to them very soon let me just begin the way the, the this this episode of the reunion began welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here please watch, subscribe turn on your post notifications so that i can get notified each time i post a brand new video and don't forget to give today a thumbs up so today's episode started off with irene and peace they were just showing us their gossip episodes like they showed us, they showed us different parts where they just sat down and they were having their talks their gossip and they just asked her like what was that about like the whole um gossip narrative or the gossip thingy and then peace had to just own up to it that if i'm talking with my friend and it's considered i'm considered to be a gossip then i am a gossip <laughs> it's very simple i mean if talking to your friends is being a gossip i guess i'm a gossip i think that narrative started from the wild uh it's a wild card thing and it's crazy to me because some of these girls are really crazy you know that was a task i was the head of house and that was a task peace said that some of you are crazy <laughs> some of you are crazy for Putting out that narrative about her, it was just her trying to obviously f um, figure out who the wild card was. So they just showed us that. Then Nini now interjected and said, um, uh, spoke about them also talking about her. Hey, the next thing they just ended her straight up. Uh, that what was said? What was said about you? Okay, what was said about you? What was said about you? What did you hear Nini and Pi say about you? No, she just I said it wasn't her alone, and you guys are in agreement. About what? What, what, no, was no, about? No, what was the conversation no, about? What was the conversation about? What was the conversation sense. about? It's the way people were just like, what was said about you? You could tell that it came from a place of anger. Like, what do you mean? Like, you cannot come here and be, you know, lay false accusations on us. It was literally giving you guys know that episode of there was there was a video or there was a, I think it was Love and Hip Hop reunion or so where um, um Kadbi was like, what was the reason? <laughs> That's the way this thing was. That's the, that's what this particular episode, this particular scene was given. Then there's something that um, Nini said that made J Paul open his mouth, and I did not hear. I don't know if he, any of you heard it. I went back, I played this um, several times, but I didn't. I couldn't make any sense, or I couldn't get. I couldn't grasp what was said. Say something. Girl, say something. Say something. Everybody was saying something to me. Hmm, they are procuring me wants to really hear what Nini said. I mean, they both open his mouth like that. I don't even know why they are censoring every freaking thing. At least leave some things. Let's hear it. Let's hear what is being said. Then the next thing, we were now entered into the conversation. I was talking about um, a situation where something was said about him that he did not say in the house. Immediately, he just immediately said that the way Queen just turned, like, huh? <laughs> you can say I did something. So, who right? said that about you? I think it was Queen. That said that <laughs> you had that conversation <laughs> and you said that you went and said what what if I told Perry? So I was. The question games. That particular question game it was just them asking each other questions. So when you ask somebody a question, the person asks the next person a question without um random questions. It doesn't have to be real. So at that time Perry asked Boma a question, said, Why did you tell me that um Tegas um, private part smells like fish fin and then, then Boma asks the next person a question so these questions it has nothing to do with anything that is real they're not real it's just you just need to ask somebody a question that's going to throw the person off so people were just saying very nasty things that were not true so later on Queen now called kind of called Tega to decide kind of to give her advice on Boma like you know this is this kind of thing he could have said it out there and she should not be allowing him to you know say those kind of things because of she's married and it will not make sense for all that. like people outside might misinterpret it then <laughs> when she was saying it when she was like giving when she was telling us about the advice she gave Tega she was asking um Ibuka Ibuka was like ah me is it me <laughs> is it me you're asking <laughs> Ibuka, I was just saying she could have counted her because she's married. So people will not miss that person outside. Was I wrong to say that? Uh, 
Oh my god, this is cool. Today was actually very hilarious. I, I felt it was boring at first, but like thinking back about thinking thinking back, it, it was actually very hilarious. Then since now got really heated up. Like at some point Queen I had to even stand up. It was you know, but one was saying that you cost it caused a lot of problems, like what you said then caused a lot of problems, and then Queen now stood up, like don't make me talk, don't make me talk. Oh more that's how the, the whole thing just switched from zero no it was not zero from like 10 to 150 real quick don't make me talk right now don't make me talk right now if you have a problem with your brain don't fix it don't make me talk understand you're very low you don't know how to comprehend you're from the village you're very local that's why you couldn't understand the question games boma has a bad mouth ah yeah i was like huh what do you mean local and no local you don't understand village ah hey I was like, nah, 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 nah. And the next thing, they now dragged, uh, they now dragged Kubana chief priest into the equation. I'm like, the guy is there and he's receiving stray bullets. <laughs> Basically, what they said about Kubana was that Kubana was like, he went with the narrative that Queen put up or like the narrative that was going on in the house that Buma kind of said something about Tega's private parts. And, you know, it did not make sense because obviously, um, Obi Kubana had, has a lot of followers and then he just puts it out there that don't be like Boma, that will be saying this kind of things about a woman and all that. So, obviously, it, it got to Boma and he didn't really like it. Even the Kubana, Chief Priest, that can't even comprehend as well, I had a big post about me when I came out. This nigga that print for 3 million followers, he came out, said, oh, don't be like Boma. He slept with somebody's wife and said a private part was smelly. What the f***? It almost feels like Boma has been waiting for so long to address this particular situation. It's like, let the reader come so that I can address it. But I, I, I kind of, I really, really understand him for this particular one. I understand him very well because I imagine that kind of narrative being put out there. And I, I made a video on this channel. I talked about it. I said Boma did not say this about Tega because a lot of people were already running with the narrative. He was being insulted on Twitter because of that. Imagine Kubana Chief is posting it with all his followers. So, see, there's not as annoying as um so um, a, a, a narrative being passed around for something that you did not do you did not say Boma said a lot of annoying things fine and good but that particular one he didn't say it and that was like really really it, it was really messed up so i can understand him trying to clear the air on like the whole situation then there's a statement that he made to um Ibuka. he was like hey why would somebody people go out there i'm saying something why will you pass that kind of narrative for something that is not true because of how much how much is the money <laughs> You could drag me for what I did or what I did. But don't make it up because we're trying to win money. How much is the money? Plenty. Uh, <laughs> <job. Plenty> <laughs> uh, the money that you were really, really hustling for playing um play the dirty game. I think Boma's game was game, Boma's game was kind of dirty or let me not use the word dirty but Boma's game was kind of corny. He played a very corny game only the name of he wants to get to the end. He was um, two face like he was trying to buy favor with everybody so that he will not get nominated and all those things. So, and you're saying how much is the money? But when you were playing the game like that, you did not know that the money was not plenty. Have you? Then Queen now, um, they now went. The, there was not another issue that was addressed between them. The issue of Boma going around saying that Queen was forcing herself on him, right? He he's the one that brought up this particular issue. He said he brought up um a, a situation where they were in when they were when they were partying that Queen drags him away from dancing with angel right so um queen now explained her own side of the story that she came out and was hearing a lot of things that Buma said about her in the house she didn't even know that Buma was going around passing the gist that uh, she's being desperate she's she's forcing herself on him and all that so she was really hot when she came out to hear that i never for one day said i wanted to date him he never for one day told me queen i want to date you i came out of the house to watch clips how he was gossiping with her and forcing myself on him i have never ever force myself on Boma. When we had that discussion, he literally said, Queen, let us chill and vibe together. It is very, very true. Boma actually said a lot. When it comes to Queen, he said, Oh, well, he said a lot of things. He was just, you know, he was just passing the narrative that, okay, you know, he's like, you know, for everybody. And then the baby's forcing herself on him, da, 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 da. Or, although, on the, on the other hand, Queen was very clingy like queen is like very clingy and very protective <laughs> with white money she was like that to end uh, with white money but she i think she already mentioned to him that she's she's a very clingy type of person right and if you say let's vibe and let's chill this is how i'm going to be so you know that was that for queen but it still did not justify him going around to say oh 
Um, she's forcing herself for me. She's da 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 da. Then, uh, what else happened between them? I think that's basically it for the. I mean, let's 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 move on from their matter. So, hmm, the hottest part of this um, tonight's reunion was Beatrice and Boma. Their arguments. <sighs> um, uh, it was hot. Um, basically, Beatrice was saying that she heard when she came out of the house. She heard that she had she saw a clip where Boma was saying that she's irritating right and i think she said there are some other things that she heard that she, she saw that he had said a lot of things about her and you know obviously that triggered her and that's how the thing entered major fights between Boma and beatrice so i watched the videos where this guy said a lot of stupid things about me i just you didn't that tell me you don't like me you know what? people are seeing you, you they're not actually okay. obsessed and you were confused about my beauty because you're actually stupid what? on that show because i don't understand again. how you saw people Boma was explaining that that's not um that Beatrice was up and down her emotion emo, emotions i prefer saying emotions hey what is it emotions her emotions were just up and down today she's like this and to, uh, today she's like nice and then tomorrow she changes she's like rude and all so that was i think that was what he kind of explained that caused him to say that kind of thing or that was the cause of maybe any occasion that any any statement that he made out there you called me and i went to the back with you to like put plaster on your hand for you and i cleaned the blood there were times, however, we were kind of cool. Then there was a time I asked you, are you okay? And you go, stop asking me if I'm okay. I don't like when people ask me if I'm okay. Um, Beatrice now said that it's not true. That she did not say anything like that. She did not, there was never a time where she was, she was rude to Boma. That she remembers doing that kind of thing to Nini. Um, telling Nini that she doesn't like when people are asking her if she's okay. Like, she's okay, she's fine. You guys know that in the house. I think there were a lot of times that Beatrice had mood swings. So, I think some of the husbands just ask, are you okay? So, she said that she told Nini that she doesn't like people asking her that. That she didn't tell um, Boma that. And then Boma was like, so you didn't tell me that? And then, you know, then I started arguing, like, whether it's true, whether it's not true. And then, then that's when Beatrice now went off and was saying, please, upon things. But my Beatrice is asking your girlfriend if I pass her. <laughs> Please come and show us your girlfriend. We would like to know. You know, we would like to know the answer to that question. <laughs> So that uh, Boma said she looks like man. Um, uh, I did not think that this thing was gonna get heated up like that. I don't know that Beatrice has a bad mouth like that. Um, uh, she sat, she sat, she first she 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 said <laughs> she she said a lot of things that obviously were hurtful and not cool. Like, uh, why would you go off on somebody like that just because he said you irritated him? It's not that like. You, you irritates me it doesn't mean that you now be coming for his age there's only passion like respect your age saying different things like it didn't make sense i do not understand where all that insult was coming from just for one statement or one thing that was said except there's something that was said that was so deep that she didn't let us know i don't even know this particular gist um, uh, it didn't make sense it's just that uh, i was here for the drama so i'm like okay give it to us and also the fact that boma also has bad mouth so if it kind of felt like they were a good match for each other then there was a point where boma was now saying that you stayed in the house for two weeks <laughs> you won't go get like because you stayed two weeks for us and I stayed, stayed two now, weeks. Now yeah, you stayed two if weeks. Know, you stayed two weeks, and we are all fucking better than you. Stay with me. Do you understand? We are yeah, better yeah, than you. Forget, all forget all, all those nonsense you're doing. All those one fifty k you're doing. Ask people. Do you know how much they pay me? How much do they pay you, Beatrice? We would like to know. We, the association of Aproco, the Ap Aproco Association, would like to know how much they pay. They pay you. Thanks for watching. I don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. I love you.